Hey guys, welcome back to the second episode of my Vacation Scheme mini-series. For those of you who don't know, my name is Melissa, I'm going into my second, uh, final year of politics and international relations, and I am trying to be a lawyer. So for this episode, I just wanted to share with you my individual experience of a vacation scheme. I just finished a vacation scheme with the law firm Freshfields last week, and because of the coronavirus pandemic, it was of course all online, but it was still a very informative and educational experience that I really enjoyed. So today I'm just going to take you through a sort of day in the life of a virtual vacation schemer to give you an idea of what sort of stuff you'd be doing and how you'd be spending your time on the scheme. So I hope you enjoy and good luck with all of your vacation schemes. I'm tired. Good morning. <clears throat> Good morning. For all of you that don't know, my name is Melissa. I am currently, well, I'm currently going into my final year of politics and international relations. I'm trying to be a lawyer. I I am in the middle of a virtual vacation scheme with Freshfields and it is Friday, June 26th, which is the last day of the first week of the vacation scheme. And so I wanted to do a sort of day in the life to show you guys what it's like, what sort of stuff we do, because I think a virtual vacation scheme sounds like a bit of a cop-out, I mean, isn't the whole point of a vacation scheme to sort of like go into the office and see what it's like. Um, and so it's actually really good. I think Freshfields is doing an incredible job in actually, uh, well, dealing with the circumstances because this obviously wasn't their first choice, it's because of Corona. Um, but yeah, so uh, we've got a busy day today starting at about 10, ending at like 6 or so. I need tea. So, the first thing that I need to do this morning... Uh, I'm a morning person, I like doing my work in the morning, and I probably should have done this last night, but I didn't. Um, we have a pitch exercise to do, so I've got a little team of four other people, three other people, and we have to put together a pitch where basically we pretend as though we're pitching to another company that is looking for X, Y, and Z in its legal support and we are pitching why Freshfields is really good for that, basically. So we are putting together a little presentation and some documents and we will give the presentation Wednesday next week, I believe. So we've got a few days and I'm meeting with my group later this morning, so I need to actually do some of the work that we set out for each other. So it's eight o'clock now and I am going to do about an hour of work, hour and a half of work on this and then we'll get ready for the first session at 10. Running late. I need a change. I need to get on the call in like 10 minutes. Um, I was relatively productive this morning. I did a bit of research, put together some stuff for the pitch. I still haven't found a decent case study, but I'll work on that later. Enough to feel like I've contributed to the group, so that's good. 
Um, the first thing this morning is a commercial awareness exercise, which I'm actually really looking forward to. They've scheduled like a whole two hours to it this morning. That's starting at, from 10 to 12, and it's with this external company called Kaplan. Um, they haven't told us really anything about it, just that it's some sort of activity about commercial business and commercial awareness. Um, apparently it's really fun. Some of the current trainees did it as a sort of test and really enjoyed it, so it should be enjoyable. And I definitely always need to work on my commercial awareness, so that should be good. And then afterwards, I think there's a few more talks on practice groups today. They're giving these, us these little introductory talks into various practice groups. Um, so I'm not sure which ones are on today, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna put this makeup on. So, let's get connected and see what this commercial business exercise is like. that was fun it was like a so we were we had coffee shops we were broken into teams we had coffee shops and we had to align our marketing strategy and our uh, sort of like overall strategy and market development and our priorities to and decide on the price for coffee to compete against the other teams and really like see who who would do best across different days when there were different challenges um, and we won by a landslide, so go Team A! Um, and now I need to make some phone calls because we are house hunting at the moment and I have missed a lot of messages. So, one sec. do a quick run to the local co-op for some supplies for the social event this evening, which is a Friday night cocktail making competition. They gave us a, pound, a budget of £25 and told us to go spend it on snacks, cocktail making supplies, and, and other such things. So I bought some strawberries, some lemon juice, some gin, and we'll see what we mix up tonight. Okay, so as a brief little catch up, I... Have, what have I done this afternoon? The last time we talked, I was um, doing a pitch prep session with my group, so we did that. We got our pitch together, talked about what we need to do, and we're gonna work on it, uh, meet again on Sunday. I'm back this afternoon, had a quick lunch, and got back on my laptop. A session from the practice group, uh, dispute resolution practice group, so it was about 40 minutes and there were two associates in that department who basically just told us all about their work, what they do, and answered all of our questions. And it was really interesting, honestly, to hear straight from people who work in those departments um, what their really like daily life is, what is the sort of uh, activities that they spend most of their time on, what trainees could expect to be doing in those departments. And I think I've been convinced that dispute resolutions is something that I'd, a seat that I'd like to sit in. So that's this been that's been this afternoon so now there is a, another talk about responsible business um i'm not sure if that's pro bono because we have another talk about pro bono later in the week but we'll see what that one's about and then after that another talk i think from the it ip department but i'm not sure i will double check on that and then the social so uh that's going right now so let's get on and see so responsible business at Freshfields. Cool, I'm happy to, to obviously click through this. So, um, okie dokie, I think we might have everyone now. So, it's hot. 
Okay, I realize most of this is just me talking at the camera because most of these sessions aren't like super interactive. Uh, that's just sort of the nature of the program and the fact that on Monday we all tried to turn our cameras on and everyone's computers crashed because 48 cameras and mics are just a bit too much. So I realize it's mostly just me talking at the camera but I hope it still sort of gives you at least an insight into what we're doing. Um, so we've just finished the talk about responsible business which honestly Freshfields has so many incredible programs. They've been carbon neutral since 2007. They have uh, an active initiative to uh, support reforestation in East Africa. They have a program to match donations to charities from uh, from workers within the business and they also have just a huge range of pro bono initiatives that basically everyone in the firm can take part in and which you can actually like like it, it can be part of your sort of regular business hours doing pro bono work so uh, I just had a really short sort of 15 minute break and now we are going back to the last session of the day which is the IP and IT uh, practice group talk so this is an area that I'm personally really interested in, so I'm really looking forward to this talk. And they actually did set up, um, they, I mean HR, set up a, uh, just a short Skype call with two associates from the IPIT department, with me and another VAC schemer who had said that we were particularly interested in that department. And they are really going out of their way to arrange all sorts of calls with uh, everyone from trainees to associates to actual partners um, b with, between them and our, us back schemers on areas that we're particularly interested in just to sort of get us to actually talk with someone. So, intellectual property group practice talk. Practice, intellectual property practice group talk. But actually more of what we do on a day-to-day -day basis is, is commercial law in areas, in kind of relatively techy areas. and and. What I really liked about that when I was training. Right, so um, we have just finished the session about IPIT and now we are on to our Friday night social. It says it starts at 4.30 but no one's actually on so I think we're all going, supposed to be making our cocktails right now. So let's go do that. That's not tonic water. There's a difference? Yes. I, I just hit it. I just. No, it's not working. Okay, plan two. Plan B. Alright, so I've got my cocktail. It didn't quite turn out as planned. I My blender couldn't crush the ice and I bought sparkling water instead of tonic water. So instead of a strawberry lemonade, lemonade smoothie slushy, it's sort of just gin and strawberries with a bit of lemon in sparkling water. But it's fine. Um, I'm going to join the social now, but thanks for following along today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, as I hope you sort of got a chance to see what a virtual vacation scheme would actually be like. It's uh, definitely a very different experience, but I think still very informative and I've definitely learned a lot about how law firms in general work and also specifically how Freshfields works and what really sets them apart, which a lot does. Um, yeah, next week I will give a sort of full review of what I liked and didn't like about this week, so stay tuned for that. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and enjoy the rest of the summer or whenever you're watching this.